Uh, good to have you on the program. Sorry again uh, about the late start today. We'll try to get things going a bit earlier for tomorrow. But uh, I do plan to do a full stream. We'll get at least three hours in, maybe more. This is really loud. Hold on. Let's get into the world so that we can turn off this really, really loud music. I do love these loading screens, though. I do. Uh, I enjoy the tool tips and uh, the the news broadcasts that always uh, share a little bit more about the world. All right, there. I can actually pause it. Anyway, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks again for joining, and I apologize for the late start. I thank you for understanding. Let me see if I can get um, the YouTube chat up. A lot has happened though, over I do the well. weekend uh, concerning uh, Cyberpunk 2077. A lot has happened. So if you follow them on Twitter, you saw that they uh, made a tweet that I retweeted over the weekend. And apparently they're going to be uh, handing out refunds to whomever asks for it. Even if you've played more than two hours on Steam or whatever it is that they say uh, you can't play beyond if you want to continue to get a, a refund. Whether you're on any console, you got a digital or a hard copy, they will be honoring refunds. Uh, which is a good thing. Uh, also, it, uh, it talks a lot about the state of the game on, at launch. Uh, I've been uh, reading a lot about Cyberpunk 2077 and tinkering with my own game install. I uh, played the game on another um, computer. There, I can actually pause it. And, uh, just so that I could, you know, get to better understand the gameplay. And, uh, and I, I did a Corpo playthrough. I made a character and I'm doing a Corpo playthrough. And I haven't gotten through the, the prologue yet. I'm still at the very beginning. But, you know, I'm, I'm going through it and... Uh, uh, testing out different things and I'm noticing many of the same issues that people have been reporting and that we've seen here during the broadcast so the game uh, definitely has had a bit of a rocky a rocky launch um, but from everything that I I can understand I'm not even experiencing the half of it PC players were spared the bulk of the problems concerning uh, Cyberpunk 2077 uh, last gen consoles, um, uh, PS4 and uh, Xbox, they uh, they've been having a very hard time, a very hard time. And most of the review bombing and uh, angry messages that uh, that uh, CD Projekt Red have been getting have been from console players who have been disappointed with the quality of the game at launch. Um, and yeah, I've seen a lot of the footage that has come out uh, recorded on a PS4 and an Xbox, and it's it's pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's pretty bad. It's, it's not good. No. And there have been a lot of um, comparisons between Cyberpunk 2077 and Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, just um, in terms of logic, like how, how uh, the law operates. And it's very sophisticated, the wanted system in Red Dead Redem Redemption 2. A lot of thought went into it. It's intuitive. It makes sense to the player. It doesn't take a long time to figure out. And in Cyberpunk 2077... The wanted system, it's not very sophisticated. Uh, the cops AI, like they just kind of spawn on top of you, right? When you when you do something illegal, there's there's no AI, right? There's just a lot of little things that should have been done better that people have been upset about. But to uh, CD Projekt Red's uh, credit, they're offering refunds, refunds to those who want it. Uh, I'm not going to get a refund. I'm still enjoying the story, right? I'm still having a good time, and it looks good on my machine. I tinkered with my settings from my last stream, uh, during uh, during my last stream, and it, it looks it looks pretty good. Uh, and and I'm honestly intrigued by the world, and I want to know more about this universe. I want to wrap my head around the gameplay mechanics, the quick hacking. I'm getting better at on my other character on my other machine. I'm just diving into quick hacking so I can really kind of understand it better. And then I'll probably do the same on this other character too. So I'm I'm, I'm going to continue playing the game. And uh, CD Projekt Red has promised updates and patches that are going to fix many of the issues. Though I mean, <laughs> if you saw my tweet, most of that. 
most of that's going to be for console players. Like they, at the very end of their lengthy letter, they're like, yeah, we're going to be doing this and we're going to be fixing that. And then at the end, they say, P.S. Oh, yeah, we'll do all that for PC players, too. <laughs> I'm like, okay, glad to see that we are an afterthought, guys, at the very end of the list. But uh, to be fair, a lot of the really beautiful videos and, and gorgeous screenshots that are coming out have been from PC players who are actually able to run the game as it was intended to be viewed. And when you're able to run the game as, as it was intended to be enjoyed, it is a beautiful game. So, anyway, I can't wait to get back into it. Gertie the Grump is in the chat today. He says, hi, Ox. I hope you and all the Oxets are having a fine Monday. We are, uh, I'm having a wonderful Monday. I'm, I'm starting late, but I'm really grateful that you're all coming by today. Uh, we've got Facebook up. Joey, Hunter, Jonathan, Simon, Sean, Jordan, Robin, Robert, Helen, Matthew, uh, Ty, and uh, Jonathan with a donation of stars. Thank you so much. And of course, it's great to see the members and the regulars and the Patreon subscribers in the YouTube chat today. Gertie the Grump, a hey Mike, Sesh the Cat, uh, Sarah R, Courtney Zayas, Philippe with a gold derby. It looks good on you, my friend. Mr. Truth, Slatty Bartfast, Jessica Sharp, Weird Beard, Quintius Zartu, Ryan, Jedediah, Edward C, 200 Angel, Antonio, uh, Miwi, Philip G, with a gold derby, another gorgeous hat, my friend. Sarge Game, Slatty Bartfast, India, or Linda Shaw. Uh, uh, and then Brian Sanchez says, when you jump in the game, take a right turn out of your apartment and go down the hall to the elevator and go to the garage and get your car for a fun quest. All right, well, this... He made sure to, ta to mention this before I ended my broadcast yesterday and uh, must be really important or really entertaining uh, for him to mention it again. All right, Brian, I will do that. Let's go to the garage. We got that as a bit of a side quest. Okay, back in the game. Coffee first. Oh, that hits the spot. And today we're smoking a brick house. If I can get my dog on lighter working, give me just a second here. Let's release the pressure. And yeah, I haven't been uh, copyright stricken at all yet, right? So I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that they did a really good job uh, with uh, patch 1.4 of removing all copyrighted music from from the game when you have that option selected. So. Yeah, I've got the music back on. I'm feeling pretty confident that I'll be able to walk through a night city without getting demonetized. I've got the nudity filter on. Yeah, we're in Cyberpunk and we're streaming it live. Mo on YouTube says, hello, Wonks. It's been a while since I've seen your live stream. Work got me booked every day and night, but I got an early day today and I'm relaxing with your stream. Well, Joe, I hope you have a wonderful relaxation with a good drink in hand, whether it's coffee or something stronger. Um, let's uh, pick up right where we left off. Pavel says, looking on time. This stream will end 3 a.m. my time. That'll be a hard time to work tomorrow. Good day, Ox. Um, uh, Pavel, I'm so sorry. Uh, well, you know what? The replay will always be available to you, my friend. Okay, so here's my, my fellow. Uh, let's see. We got some new face gear. Oh, that's right. Action is blocked because we've got... We've got this on. All right, we got some new glasses. What's this? Uh, Kang Tao Combat Kuse. It's a few points better. What? What? Even is that? I have no idea what that is, but... 
It's a few points better, so we'll take it. Uh, all right, so let's go back. Any other new clothing? I don't know. Yeah, I'm still wearing the skirt. That's right, I'm still wearing the skirt because it's the best piece of armor that I've got so far. Uh, now let's see. Can I put a mod on this? I think it has a mod slot. It has two mod slots. Carrying capacity and armor. So it's already got an, an increase of armor by uh, 6.91. Breadbus says it runs great on my Xbox Series X. Pretty much stays at 60 FPS. This game is so good. And I feel the law logic issue wasn't a problem. The law is just in the game so you don't go on a GTA rampage. I understand where you're coming from, but for many players of open world sandbox games like this, being a criminal and having there be consequences for criminality just uh, makes the world feel much more alive and interesting. Uh, the Wanted system in Red Dead Redemption 2 is a masterclass on doing that right. And it's one of the biggest complaints that players have had about Cyberpunk, regardless of the console, is that the cops are dumb they, and, and they have superpowers. I, I saw an experiment where somebody climbed to the tallest tower of uh, Night City and used a sniper rifle to kill a random, uh, a random walkers by on the street and a squad of cops on foot appeared on the top of the roof behind him. Right? And it killed them. So it's, it's like, for people who are into that kind of gameplay, just exploring the world, that's a problem. And it's a problem of game design. And CD Projekt Red, for everything great that they've done with the game, which should be acknowledged, also needs to be held account for the kind of big oversights that they've uh, allowed to slip into a game that they developed for eight years, lest we not forget. Eight years! All right, so 6.91, let's see, that's 19.3. Do I use my mods now on armor that I don't even like, but it's the best I've got? Not even says at least our favorite song is not copyrighted. That's a good point. I think I'm gonna save my mods for now. Josh says, lol, Ox, even without said music, I'm sure you'll still find a way to get demonetized. I always do. Douglas Delegard says, hey, Oxhorn, and everyone hugs to all. Thank you very much, Douglas. Good to have you on the program. Vendetta says, happy Monday, Ox. Thanks for the great content. And if you sh shout out, if you could do a shout out to Dear Aaron, I think it might make his day. Big shout out to Dear Aaron, all the way from Vendetta on the Oxhorn program. And then on Facebook, Jonathan with a donation of stars. Thank you so much. He gives us another donation and says, what cyberpunk character build would you recommend? Someone who enjoys run and gun style games play from Fallout. I don't know enough about it to be able to give you a good recommendation. I can tell you. Oh, I got to level up my character. That's right. We had a huge plot moment at the end of our last stream. I can tell you that I'm really enjoying the intelligence pathway where we can do uh, quick hacking and breach protocol. I'm not very effective on this character right here just yet. I'm learning more about it and I'm trying to get m to build my character up to be able to do it better. Um, body and reflex. So reflexes is going to be your handguns and all of that. I've been putting points into there just because I didn't know what else to do. And so far it's been all right. You know, the, uh, I mean, if I'm honest, the, the gun combat is a little clunky. Uh, I mean, it's a little clunky in Fallout 4 too. You know, it's 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 hard to do to do gun combat. I wouldn't say it's bad. It's not bad by any means, but it's just um, I think the dodge thing is what bothers me the most. You have to double tap A or D to dodge, and it messes up stealth. It's I don't know. It's a little clunky, but uh, it's not that bad. I think anyone familiar with first-person shooters will be able to manage it. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. It's kind of a I, I'm I'm. I'm ignoring everything, really. I'm ignoring technical ability and cool just because I'm really interested in reflexes and intelligence right now. Now, I do have a couple of uh, dialogue points that I want to be able to master. So let's get cool on up to six. Then I want to start putting points into uh, quick hacking and breach put protocol. I got the crafting specs for uncommon quick hacks. I got I spy. So I should probably put into breach p protocol. Disabling cameras on the network. Reduces physical resistance for all an enemies by 30%. I should probably max these, huh?
Uh, Philip G says, also, have you found Skippy yet? It's in the Haywood in the Vista de Del Rey district. It's a higher level area, so be careful. I haven't been there yet, but uh, remind me again when I get there. Anthony Friend says, call Jackie and his mama for an unmarked quest. Okay, I can do that. Hector the Chill Guy says, this game gives so much vibes from the movie Blade Runner 2044. It does. They're both part of the same genre, a cyberpunk genre. Brian says, save attribute points until you encounter a, a skill check you can't pass. You can then use them mid-conversation. Oh, I can. I didn't realize that. Uh, thank you, Brian. This number is temporarily unavailable. Please leave a message. That's my only option? Jackie, I... <laughs> this is so stupid. You know, Johnny Silverhand's relic was in Jackie's head for probably a good 30 minutes before we put it into our head. Is that significant in any way? Who's Jackie's mama? V. How'd you describe Watson in one sentence? The Japanese built Kabuki, but the Chinese live there mostly. North side used to be plated in chrome, now it's covered in rust. We have an entire aquarium full of corpos, and that's no metaphor. Know what all that comes out to? One sentence is never enough? That's Watson. Used to be a media, didn't you? Not hard to guess, but I'll give you a point for perceptiveness. Why you stop? Never stopped, really. Information is a weapon, V. I just traded in for a larger caliber. See you around. Oh, there's the chat's favorite song. I don't know why, but there it is. Jonathan says, thanks for the advice. Merry Christmas to you and yours. Merry Christmas, Jonathan. And then Jessica says, hey, Ox, I'm so, so glad that you're on. I was worried when YouTube slash Google had their blackout this morning. Did they have a blackout this morning? I'm just now learning about that. Well, I guess it's good that I didn't uh, do a live stream this morning. I'm still having a bit of issues, but everything seems to be working itself out. I, I appear to be having broadcast issues as I'm getting solid red on my broadcaster. So if you're getting buffering, that's why. All right, let's do the quest. Wait, wait, do I have any more emails? Rent pass due. No. Fetch your vehicle from the garage. So the only hack I have is to distract enemies on a vending machine. and following a brief rest for technical evaluation, the miners were able to... Hello, I'm Arif Iqbal with WNS News. Today is a sad one in our city's history. Mayor Lucius Ryan has passed away. Mama Wells! V, V, we need to talk. Please pick up. Okay, we can't talk to her right away, but, uh... But we can say, sorry, I was in the middle of something. Call you later. Job updated we heroes. Death from his family. He died peacefully in his sleep. There we go, Mama Wells. 
The exact cause of his death has not been released. Hey. Good to hear you. Finally. Been a long time since we talk. Since when Jackie passed away. How are you doing? How you think? My son is dead. But I am hanging in there. Calling to offer my condolences. Mm. Offer your condolences. Ah! Ay, Jesus Cristo, V. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. Oh my god. The ceremony right. will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. For Jackie. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, B. Job updated heroes. I've got a quest called Heroes now. Let's check that out. Mo says, you're right, that song is funky and weird. I mean, I don't mind it, but I also don't understand why the chat seems to really like it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's strange. Nanaim says, there's a meme now making fun of how V sleeps. Oh, yeah, what was the first thing I said? When, when V laid down in a bed, I'm like, what is he doing? <laughs> People don't sleep like this. Half of his body lying on the mattress the wrong way. <laughs> That's the first thing I said during like live stream number one. And now it's a meme. All right, uh, let's see, heroes, what's this? I usually don't give advice, but screw it, here it goes. Don't make the same mistake I made. Say goodbye to the people you love. You know what I mean, right? Jackie Wells was your best chum, and you don't find a lot of straight up peeps like that in Night City. Best thing you can do is remember them. Oh, and one more thing, if anyone asks, I didn't just say all that to you. Got it? Uh, danger moderate at the uh, El Coyote, uh, Coyote Coyo. Uh, well, uh, okay. Which one did you want me to do about the car? Human nature. Long story short, that's why your wheels were towed. Want my opinion? The best way to convince the world you're alive and kicking is to get your wheels back. Hell, maybe not the most ambitious goal, but for a minor league merc like you, it's it's a start. Was it this one? Fetch your vehicle from the parking garage. Yeah. Okay, danger very low. Let's do this, then we'll do heroes, then we'll go back to the main plot. Because we got to resolve things with Jackie. I know it's a side quest, but come on, it was Jackie. Whoa! Hey! Dalla, man! Johnny, did you see what happened? Something feels off here. You don't say. Don't mean the wreck. I mean the run. City's most courteous chauffeur ups and drives away from the scene of an accident. My car is screwed. Why did Delaman do that to me? Why did Delaman do that to me? Hey, you're an A. <laughs> did he get jealous that I've got my own car now? Please accept our sincerest apologies regarding the traffic incident number blah blah blah. The Delamain Corporation cordially invites you to its main headquarters in order to address damages and arrange compensation. You don't, you don't think. What do you mean I'm sorry for the traffic incident? You hit me in a parking garage while I'm parked and said beep beep, mother kind person. Fine, well let's go get our car back. I mean, we gotta have a car. Oh my god, now a message from Regina. Uh, v, my favorite Merc. I got a Galena I'm selling. Hasn't been driven much. Well, this is convenient. Guy who owned it for the last 10 years was paranoid as crap about going outside because he was afraid they would zero him. The car sat unloved for all that time, but you can't escape fate, right? Stray lead caught him through his window. Moral of the story is that you've got to grab life by the stinking balls. So don't be a sc no Scrooge. Whip out your crit ship and buy this poor baby. Okay, I would just love to be able to focus on one thing and get it done before I get inundated by tons of other quests. But this is the same way it was in The Witcher 3. 
Uh, okay, well, now we've got to get a car. Uh, okay, let's do the Delamon, then let's go get a car, then we'll go to Jackie. How about that? Cars for sale. Yeah. Van full of sin leather? Objective, steal a, a courier. Okay. Well, shoot! My car's... Ah... Uh. Okay, vehicles buying. A fixer just sent you an offer to buy a vehicle. Whenever you receive an offer, a new marker will appear on your minimap. To buy the vehicle, go to the indicated location and confirm your purchase. Oh, that seems easy enough. All right, well, we're about to get money. Maybe I should do the buy a vehicle one first so that we can actually drive to our destination. Um... What was the name of it? Yeah, rides. Oh, I see. So it's a new a new category called rides. Brett Bus says, by the way, the main and side quest descriptions are Johnny talking to you. Oh. Yeah, why are we having casual conversations with Johnny now? We just finished a cutscene where he's like beating the actual heck out of us and trying to take over our body and saying that he's going to consume us. And now we're just sort of buddies, I guess. He's just there for the ride. Josh says, Ox, you can still summon your car. Just for your information, the damage is only quest related. You're kidding me. It seems odd. Pavel says, good, you decided to send Jackie's body to family. I've seen others decide to send it to Victor to find out that an Arasaka agent grabs it. Oh, well, I wonder what we'll find out by sending it to the mom. Brian says, you haven't seen half of it. This game hits you with quests like a convoy of trucks. Just take each one at quest one at a time and, and many will give you a break. Right. Well, I'll, um, I'll do this one. Let's do the Galena to get a new car. Uh, and we're tracking it. All right, Johnny says, V, my favorite Merc. Oh, no, no, that's, uh, that's the other one. All right. Okay, uh, well, let's go outside then. Not this way, apparently. We return to this week's biggest story. The murder of Arasaka Corporation CEO, Saburo Arasaka. The longtime head of the Japanese mega corporation was reported slain on the premises of the Konpeki Plaza Corporate Hotel for attending a family gathering. Saburo Arasaka's son, Yarinobu Arasaka, has cast blame for his father's murder on the company's rivals although he has not yet provided evidence supporting this claim. Douglas Delagard says, missed my super chat. CEO's Sorry, Douglas. This may have been a desperate attempt to divert attention away from the company's ongoing internal issues. Douglas Delagard says, I gotta say, it's hard to watch other break. streamers yeah. since I've been watching you for so long. rebounding from the crisis. Oh, well, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. And, uh, then Lumen says, don't catch a virus, you might go bald. Oh, I think I've already caught that virus. Sign up for our platinum plan today, because your life is worth it. NCPD, open up! Barry, we know you're in there! We're here to help! Don't got no fucking warrant! Cut the bullshit, just open up! We came here as colleagues, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No, now leave me alone. Congrats, Mendez. Way to be a prick. Oh. oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up, playing the attention. New job, happy together. Can you blame him? He's not the first or the last. It's called life. Did we just get a new quest by observing this conversation? Hey, guys, can I talk? Hey, what's going on? I live right upstairs. So keep on living. And stop minding other people's biz. Mendez, hold on. It's his neighbor. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. 
Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Oh. Relax, Petrova. Barry's got nerves of steam. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could well, you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? It's not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. Let's see what I can do. Hey, Barry. Everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Uh, try again later. Guess I'll keep trying. All right, this is 0613. Hey, you! Don't forget your word. 0613. Why is that? Oh, I can't. All right. Wilson, and who's speaking to me? Oh. Oh, this guy. Quitting Night City is not as easy as you think. Sort of like an abusive relationship, huh? Listen, uh, I could use a little flow to the old pocket. Want to peek at some fresh gear? Sure, let me see what you got. Uh, well, I don't have time to upgrade right now. How much money do I have? I have 18,000, and I still owe a lot. To the Ripper Dock. Uh, Brian Sanchez says, the car is in the parking garage, but don't buy it, it sucks. Oh, okay. Philip G says, Ox, you're buying a car. You can get Jackie's bike for free, or Hello, go do the Delamain quest to get a new ride. Buying cars is expensive. Okay, thank you, Philip. Jillian says, Ox, so great to see you. Some things I've learned is that reported crimes and assaults in progress can be cleared and new ones won't appear. There's also a chance they will lead to side quests. All right, thank you, Jillian. Well, uh, in that case, let's uh, stop that and let's do heroes. Let's figure out what's going on with the Jack. No, let's do the, the Delamain one. Oh, uh, tune up. Danger high. Nobody. <laughs> okay, so this is so this is Johnny talking to us. Is that what it is? Fender benders are dime a dozen in Night City. A Delamon, though, at a first, I'm guessing. But now he wants to hand out compensation for damages. That's just downright suspect. Way I see it, he's got the AI equivalent of a gun pointed at his head, and this message is nothing but a coded cry for help. Nobody, and I mean nobody, doles out compensation for a little chipped paintwork. Go see what this is about. Worst case is you come out a little richer. It says danger high, though. Well, we'll try it. Let's go do the Delamin one, and then we'll resolve things with Jackie. A little loud of you, huh? Come on. Hello. MS is one of the few diseases that cannot be cured by replacing the affected tissue with implant technology. Brett Buss but says heroes is closer. Have okay, let's do heroes then. injected into the spinal cord provide long-term un... Because if, as you say, I'm going to get a bike, then at least I can ride my bike to do tune-up. Meet Mama Wells at Coy Coyote Coho. For the second consecutive week, the landfill inferno in the remnants of Atlantic City continues to rage on. The 10,000-acre dumping ground ranks in the world's largest and contains both toxic and biological waste. These news broadcasts are a great way to give us more. Sell junk. Six bucks. <laughs> Sell 
So even though my car is destroyed, can I really call it? No, I can't. It's red out. 2.2 kilometers. That's closer than the Delamain one. All right. Food and drink. Oh. Ah! Oh, I just got hit by traffic. Ah. Occupied vehicles can be carjacked. Holy cow, I gotta get over there? Oh, there's a bridge. Serial yep. Boar says, Yox, will you take part? Fallout for Hope's event. I'm not familiar with that event. Uh, but I typically don't take part in events. My schedule is a bit chaotic right now. Dino Dinovic. You don't know me, but you will. Name's Dino. Deal with downtown, city center. V. Yeah, I know. Heard about you. Hot stuff. Need anything, you call me. Remember, Dino knows everybody. Okay. And by the way, you're welcome to swing by any time. The club's always open. To you if you need a stiff drink. The electric orgasm. You can't miss it. Oh, God. Can't wait to find that place. Dino says, hey, there's a used Columbus parked at the market waiting on a buyer. Belonged to a chum who used to move drugs around town, so you might hang up on air freshener or something. I don't mind the exotic smells so much, but to each their own, right? Let me know what you think. All right, and we got a new job. Maximus says fast travel. Oh yeah, right, there is fast travel in the game. I totally forgot. Well, this was my way of getting to the quest without a car, and I'm not making very good time. I still have 1.5 kilometers to go. Marshall Loex says the year is 2077. Is that just a coincidence? I think it may be. I'm pretty sure it's not a Fallout reference. Julian Z says, Ox do hero. It's closer than the Delamines. That's what I'm doing right now. Meet Mama Wells at Coyote Coho. See, just take a look at my quest objectives. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> okay, we've got some cyber monks in cyberpunk. Hey, cool, my athletics leveled up just by simply running around a lot. I'm looking for a fast travel marker on my minimap and so far haven't seen some anything, so we're just gonna keep running until we huh. get there. Philip says, are you going to get the guide? I have the CE version and it's awesome. There is so much lore. I don't know, maybe. So the closest fast travel point is that. And this is where we're going. At Arasoka Tower? <clears throat> uh, Brandon says, for your information, fast travel works like Witcher. The Witcher, specific point to point. Fast travel points marked on your map with blue icons. Thank you, Brandon. 
No Name says, at least they're not worshiping radiation. Yeah, I mean, could be worse, right? Little Timmy says, I hacked a bench press machine while a guy was using it. The barbell fell on his neck and crushed him. Love your streams. Keep up the good work. Well, it's really cool that they were clever enough to put, uh, to program something like that into the game. All right, so according to this, the blue icon, the fast travel location, is right over here. Militech, Petrochem. Is that Arisoka? Yeah. That's not nice, is it? Yeah. Cuidado, watch out. You're not telling me something. Okay, fast travel location, and ha, there's nothing closer, so I can't fast travel anyway. I can't ride a car there, I can't take Delamain there, and I can't fast travel there, so I have to run or hijack a car. But I don't really want to do crime in my game. I, I know that's it's kind of defeats the point, I guess, but I don't want to. So let's gonna run. Okay, we'll level up our, our athletics this way. Ah, no! Don't hit me. <laughs> okay, 700 meters. Making progress. Sebastian Padre Ibarra. Heard there's a new soul in Haywood. I'm Sebastian Ibarra. They call me Padre. Hey, nice to meet you. I like people who understand the value of respect. We'll be in touch, me. Entering new area, the Glen. Athletics up too. Come and see me in my little parish when you have a spare moment. We can sit and talk. I got ran over again. Uh, and a new message. Uh, as they were walking along and talking together, suddenly a chariot of fire and horses of fire appeared. I have a theory that cars would please the Lord if he returned to our world. In particular, the tuned-up Chevillon <laughs> Thrax 388 Jefferson I have for sale. A car so mighty and majestic, it almost makes you want to bow down to it. A great car, destined for a great person. The question is, my dear V, are you worthy of it? Do some soul-searching, check your balance, and get back to me. All right, so just by walking, I've got a total of three new car offers. Exactly. Beat cop. Max Tack Enforcer. 
Hey, watch. So that's a crime scene. Oh my god. I want to see it though. Are they going to shoot me if I get too close? Another beat cop. Oh. Yeah, they're going to shoot me if I get too close. Dang it! The cops just. They're so mean. I just want to explore. Ah! I'm going to get hit by cars here. Please don't run me over! Pedestrian walking! Red Bus says, well, since you're running, there is a glitch. If you run against a 45 degree slant wall, you'll move super fast. I read about that. Uh, I'll see if I can try it. Stacy says, hey, Ox, don't forget to tap your scan button to bring up points of interest icons. It helps with navigating the complex areas. Okay. Points of interest icons? Okay, almost there. So this is where Jackie came from. His home district. El Coyote Coho. table? We got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. So maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall. The Nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Yeah. Wouldn't mind one. That doesn't look like a beer. It looks like a bottle of spirits. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night when Jackie fell. Let's just say things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. An ofrenda? What's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed, our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure some beer be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> and there will be beer. Could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. Want to take part in the ceremony, but... Want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm -hmm. But something I'd lay by his casket, that would do justice to his memory. I, I don't got anything. Mm. But your heart is in the right place, mi niño. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But 
Not so long ago, he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. You won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mijo. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. That's very kind. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. I de veo. Well, that's kind. I mean, her son just dies, and uh, she gives me the key to his place and says I can take what I want. I mean, that's, that's very kind. Let's see if they fix the bald thing. Nope, still bald. <laughs> I caught the bald virus. Oh, well. <laughs> Yeah, I missed the three no, seashells thing at uh, Arasoka. But I ended up seeing a video about it. And you're right, it was there. Fifty meters. Wait, I should probably explore for lore. See if there are any hollow tapes lying around. A guitar pick. It's a pretty small bar compared to some of the others we've seen. There is an upstairs. Let's go upstairs. There we go. Yeah, I would have missed this. Vote for Perales. A no-holds-barred candidate with an entrepreneurial flair. What am I fighting for? An end to mega-corporate influence on Night City politics. Naysayers be damned. We can do it. All I need is a token of your support to run a campaign without corporate funding. Together, we can win these elections. If I win, you win. What do you get in return? A truly independent city. An end to mega-corporate rule. An end to making decisions that affect this city and its people from behind the mahogany desks of board members that have never set foot on the streets of Watson or Pacifica. Equal opportunities for everyone and access to education. During my first year in office, I pledged to create 20 full and 30 partial scholarships with the eventual aim of funding the educations of the 200 most gifted students every year. The experts at Biodyne have created nanites that, when injected into the spinal cord, provide long-term uninterrupted repair to the neural tissue. The cost of this cutting-edge therapy treatment oh. has been listed at 700,000 euro dollars Could that month. fix? For the second consecutive week, the landfill inferno in the remnants of... Interesting! I wonder if that's foreshadowing to something that could fix our problem with Johnny. Drink menu, Diente Dorado, Mezcal, Bourbon, Lime, Dark Chocolate, Gold Flakes. Ooh, sounds delicious. Santa Cecilia, Tequila, Matcha, Saramuya Cream, Almond Milk, eh. Flor de Muertos, Black Spiced Rum, yes, Triple Sec, eh. Tarrain, Orange Blossom Water, Marigold Petals. I mean, all of that, you know, I'll take the rum, they can leave the rest. Compa de Haywood, Tequila... Reposado, black spiced rum, lime seeded jalapeno, Ugh. and soy sauce. <laughs> I guess I need to drink more cocktails because none of this sounds good to me. Quincianero, amaretto, triple sec, rose water, and lime. Well, the only one that really sounds good to me is that first one, the Diente Dorado. Dark chocolate and gold flakes. <laughs> Why not? Tourism. Tur uh, tourism advisory. Stay within the city limits. Stick to the city center for safety. 
Unfortunately, the areas surrounding Night City still pose significant risks to travelers. The city stands on the disputed border between North and South California. The echoed crack of gunfire can be heard coming from this political fault line day and night. Although border patrols bravely and tirelessly pursue illegal migrant caravans and hunt down merciless bands of nomads who prey on innocent civilians, much of the surrounding area can nevertheless prove dangerous. To ensure your safety, several corporations have dedicated their resources to defending city borders. A border checkpoint requ uh, checkpoints require a special pass and any attempt to cross one requires security forces to uh, requires security forces to open fire without hesitation stay on the right side of the law to avoid any unfortunate accidents safe skies overnight city Ground transportation into the city is only advised if you are accompanied by corporate or military personnel. Instead, visitors to Night City are strongly encouraged to travel by plane. Daily connections from major American cities and orbit are available. The spaceport is located on Morrow Rock just off the coast and is accessible from the Ring Road by exiting onto Spaceport Boulevard. Uh, Boulevard. The island has some of the best views of the city, so we recommend a pit stop to snap a few still, even if you have no plans to fly. All right, that's it. Now, onto the garage. Oh, it's Mickey. You're here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just, well... human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till a year back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe. But that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. With dreams. Ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set. You two didn't get that far? He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. You gonna come Mind with? Give me a hand. I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. Why? She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie would want you here. That's more important. 
Come on. Well, why isn't she on the best of terms with the mama? Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it's a miracle he never wiped out. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. <laughs> That's definitely why they're up there. Yeah. <laughs> they're collectibles. That's... <laughs> I love it. Ooh. Well, it looks like he swapped out the exhaust pipe. What? I advised him to do it. Right before the job. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie. Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. Have you read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. I It'd mean... be a good tribute for the ofrenda, though. Ernest Hemingway, he... he was a tough guy. He got... He got himself in a lot of trouble. Locked. I wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere? Find the key to Jackie's room. Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Gotta be hanging here since 2020. Okay, key, key, key. There it is. Found it. Oh, Jackie. Is that a mandala? Mm hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey. You all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. <laughs> but it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. An aquarium. It used to be tacos. And taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, mini. He, he kept a shark. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Well, it's not here anymore. What happened to the shark? Oh, no. Leather belt. Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. 
Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why'd wow. he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. Wow. Oh, what a story. Tequila. We know he loved his tequila. We can't scan it? Nice still. It's gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentino's, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. <clears throat> Rockland says, whoa, I missed this room. Good one, Ox. Thanks. Well, uh, it still says that there are more objects to scan. I mean, this one is highlighted in yellow, but I can't scan it. So does that mean it's bugged? Let's read his emails. Jack in. Gorgeous ride. Looking for a new or owner from Arch Bike Shop to Jackie Wells. Jackie, my man, you won't believe your luck. A collector's selling a collector is selling a beauty in prime condition. Price is good if a little over your budget. Let me know if you're interested, because if you aren't, it'll go to someone else. Peace, Sid. Saturday from Victor to Jackie. This Saturday, the boys are competing for the World Heavyweight Championship. Civets versus Blanco. Beers are already cooling in the fridge. Don't forget about our deal. Blanco wins by knockout in the third round. You better have the Eddies. Not letting you off the hook this time. <laughs> Victor and the Dex. From T-Bug to Jackie Wells about Dex. I vouched for you and V. He heard about you. Remembered you all too well even. He'll want to meet with V, but I think it'll just be a formality. See you at the afterlife. So I can't even interact with the uh, the tequila bottle, even though it says I can scan it. So I think that's probably a glitch. Well, so what do I take? Ooh, Euro dollars. Hey! Oh no, that leather belt has a great story. It says a lot about his character. I kind of want to take the leather belt. I think that's what I'm going to do. Now what's this jack in? It's the same button. Oh. Oh! Oh, God. Um. <sighs> All right, so... 1CBD55. Okay. So I got some components, cool. Rockland says, did you find the book? He read a classic one. Yeah, by Ernest Hemingway, for whom the bell tolls. Right there. But even though, you know, that says a lot about his personal philosophy, I think I want to take the belt because that says a lot about his own personal history and his character as a, uh, as a good son. True memento, this. Well, you got something for your ofrenda, but we could look around a little more. We could. Okay. I can take I can take all of it. Jack, pure and simple. This'll be fitting. So what do I just, when I get there, do I have to choose? All 
Alright, well. Better get going. Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What'd she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Right. You gotta come, Misty. You got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So? Shall we go? You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning? Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. Nepal! That's quite a difference. Mr. Master Chief says, uh... Gosh darn it, did somebody leave onions in here? I know, someone's cutting onions. My deepest condolences. He was a fine boy. Then go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. Hey, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. Hey, Victor. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, No te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. Typical Jackie. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. Descansa en paz, mi hijo. So she put down Valentino's ring, and I'm gonna put down... Ooh, Victor, oh, the boxing gloves! We saw the message on his terminal. They liked watching boxing together. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying. Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Uh oh, this is brutal. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olo, ol, ol, honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. 
Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. I'd been hired to drive him and some contraband across the border. He bought some goods clipped from Arasaka. Top secret. Priceless. <laughs> A lizard. And, uh... I remember what he said then. That I came from a place where everyone's family. So he must be too. Jackie Wells. An honorable man. He placed principles first and stuck hard to him. Once he set his mind to something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. For his loved ones, he'd sacrifice his life without hesitation. But most importantly, Jackie loved life and had no fear. Hard on his sleeve. He didn't overthink things. He just went for it. He thought he was bulletproof. And, and that he become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. And if he's watching, I bet just about now, he's flipping them all the bird. Set down ball or belt or recite a passage from the book. Let's set down the belt. He feared no one and wasn't afraid. He lived life to the fullest. Rest easy, Chew. I would like to say a toast. <laughs> Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putica Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. And she was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. Hey! You... Are you sure? Jackie would kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. <laughs> Well, since I don't have a ride, sure. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, B. Lots of people to talk to. Okay, let's talk to, uh... Well? Campos all torn up. Says he feels like he lost one of his own. Wonder I'm gonna if miss him. Up after you die. I already do. Don't go starting something. Eh? <laughs> Not Me too, cabron. Me too. Here's to Jackie. Tied off to greener pastures. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. Well, uh, I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Pour you another? Hey, Pour you! Jaquito. Have a drink this with This innings us. a skill, you know. To Wells? How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. <sighs> I got only good memories of him. 
Rest easy up there, brother. I think we might know each other. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. All right, why not? We're getting pissed. To Wells. May he rest in peace. Good for now, thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Nah, give me a break. <laughs> all right, let's go. A lot more people to drink with. Uh, all right, talk to Padre and talk to the bartender. Need you to focus now, okay? Weird being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar in his favorite spot where he always used to sit. Poor for Jackie. Amen, brother. <laughs> and I gotta drive after this. All right, now, talk to Padre. Who is Padre? Lupe's been handling the loss pretty good. She's a strong Valentinos para siempre, pendejo. Eres un pinche aspirante del montón, pura mierda. Okay, they're just insulting me now. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, I think I'm just still in that garage mentally. I just need a sec. A ver si ya dejas de andar con tus mamadas. Okay, upstairs maybe. You uh, here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. Jackie, uh, do you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took you into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us? From up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it. I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but <laughs> I'm pretty certain Jackie did. How are things in the streets? This is not the place to conduct business. Have some respect. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Thanks, Padre. Well, I uh, hate to sound materialistic at a time like this, but uh, motorcycle, hey, 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 let's go get it. Valentinos! Wanted! Oh, do I kill the Valentinos who came who came here? <laughs> to pay their respects? Probably not. Leave them alone for line of work. Right, uh now, so we finished that one. Let's do the Delamain one. Go to Delamain headquarters. All the way up there. Ooh, and I'm right next to a fast travel marker at Mega Building H3. Like you? Yo, young. 
So do I ride my motorcycle there or do I go to the Mega Building H3? Where there is a fast travel marker. Why were those Valentinos trying to kill me? Oh, another phone call, of course! Since we're gonna work together, only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan, and they call you V. See, no introduction's necessary. I already took care of that. Someone comes to me with biz, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe biz. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, you need fresh wheels, bikes? I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime, you hear? Alright, I'm just gonna drive there. Oh, and another thing, if you wanna come size me up, look me in the eye, whatever, swing by, I'm here. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious to meet you. What? Hey, hey, I got a Mahir Supron. I need to get rid of. Now I know I shouldn't talk smack about my own stuff, but crap, what a pile of crap. It's like somebody welded an old tub and dumpster together, then stuck it in a cardboard cutout and taped some wheels on it. Look, I know not everyone's got enough money to blow on an aero aerondite, but if you need something cheap and fast, this is it. Uh, okay. My car is supposed to be busted, and yet I just summoned it. What's going on here, and where's my motorcycle? I'm so confused. I couldn't go into the garage to get my motorcycle. Driving. Oh, I hate driving. Who is that? Did you see that something blue just pinged on my radar over here? I'm just curious as to what it is. I don't intend to stop at every single distraction, but. Brainwash! An assault in progress! Shot dead! Okay, well, let's try this again. So there was an assault in progress. That's what the blue icon means? Well, let's see if I can try that again. Where did my autosave put me at? Here. You wanna kill someone? Kill them! What's not me? Cow. Well, I don't think I'll be doing that. I don't get it. I just cleared out an entire gang headquarters in a previous episode and went through the entire Arasaka Tower in a previous episode, but one shot from these guys and I'm down? Where's my shotgun? God! Holy cow! I failed stealth. I can't use my... <laughs> I want to try my shotgun.
Illegal activity. What, did I accidentally shoot somebody? Here we go! Oh, I'm down for the count. Right, well, I tried every weapon in my arsenal. Badly, I'm sure. And we're just gonna skip that assault. Maximus Gaming says, hold V to swap cars. Oh. Oh, hey. Well, that's a tutorial I could have used. All right, where's my motorcycle? Oh, that's... <laughs> that's brilliant. Oh, wrong side of the road. Sorry, Jackie, I'm gonna destroy your chopper. Oh my God, it's fast. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ah, 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 ah. Oh. Here we go. Well, I guess I'll ignore assault. No, 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 you stink it. No, oh, no. Oh. Can I run a red light in this game or are the cops gonna get me? Oh, 425 meters. Yellow man HQ. No. Sebastian Pog Good day, There is a man who must be justice. This is a personal matter. I'll pay extra. More info attached. I'm counting on you, V. Gun for hire. A man who must face justice. Target, Karubo Bire. Location, a dive bar on the corner of Congress and Pigeon Street. Details, there is a time for forgiveness and a time for revenge. There is a time for turning the other cheek and a time for crushing your enemies like the roaches they are. Well, that's, uh, that's one way to interpret Ecclesiastes. In the words of the prophet Jeremiah, cursed is he who keeps their sword from bloodshed. The man you're to eliminate is Karubo Bare. He's an old timer, but don't let appearances fool you. He used to be a solo. He killed my friends, people who were like brothers and sisters to me. When all hell broke loose in Night City, he fled to the East Coast. Now he's back, probably thinking everybody forgot about him, but not me. Karuba runs a filthy dive that serves as Valentino's hang hangout. Go there and show him that nobody can avoid the hand of justice. And try not to make a scene, okay? Be professional, no unnecessary attention. I see. So the quest that I just got is the unmarked quest that I saw on the corner here. All right. Whoa. Wanted. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Danger very high. Well, I don't think I'm high enough level for all of this yet. If uh, that one Disturbance was anything to go by, so we'll just go to Delamain. If I kick your ass. Oh, 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 oh. Right, okay, Delamain HQ. My lawyer's gonna go data crash on your ass. You hear me? He'll run you out of biz. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Cirque Brain! Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh, hey, Del. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of hey, service? Hey, hey! He was asked in nine. Well, now I'm in front. That a problem? 
Uh, no, no, it's fine. What's got into you, Del? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give them any numbers. That's how they find you. Who? Uh, 77-011-01096. Incident report on file. Confirm. 96 at the end. Public enemy. Government target. Your identity has been established. Mr. Hans Jonas, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number 77111101016? Uh, Hans Jonas? What? Mr. Hans Jonas, what phrase would Actually, a little heartbroken about my damaged ride, but I'd rather talk to the real Delamine if I can. V, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account. To compensate for the damage done. Hey! Special treatment. Cash. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? Sure, let's talk. Then please follow the drone. I'm fully aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. Cute. And here is where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed with work. I think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. The control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly. <laughs> An AI that feels honored, and he's surprised by that. Control rooms are for Ganics. What good is it to you? There was a time this facility was human-operated. I simply inherited their infrastructure. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Okay. Why is discretion a concern? Unnoticed, unbothered, right? In my case, broadly tolerated. Yet a marked increase in inspections suggests the authorities have begun monitoring me. Talking to NCPD or Netwatch? The latter. My legal status does not fit neatly within current regulations. If I'm not careful, I could easily be categorized as an illegal immigrant. Okay, sure. I'll go after you missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person. Uh, I have a feeling it's maybe something that I'll have to do. Oh, well, there we go. Delamain scanner. Okay. Leave the garage. Well, the drone's gonna wait for me. Let me. Explore a bit. Philip says, Ox, you're near Skippy. It's a point on the map, mystery marker. Unique weapon a little south of where you are now. Skippy? I like the sound of that.
have we here? A secret door. Hmm. But it's locked. And I can't get under there. I can't! What did I just find? I can't go up. All right, uh, so I find a secret door that's locked. The secret hatch that's locked. Uh, I have a feeling I'll probably be coming back here later. What's up there? I'm not strong enough to force this door open. Great. Oh, great. No. Thought I was stuck for a second. Alright, so new quest, Epistrophe. Lots, uh, lots of uh, nooks and crannies in this place, but nothing in them. Makes me feel like it's designed for something later. Locked bathrooms. Hey. Sniper rifle ammo. So I can't hack it. Oh, password protected. Mm. Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. The Green Death. The weathered man peered into the eyes of the young nomad as if trying to divine his thoughts. Oh, great. More fiction. Love it. Don't misunderstand, he said. I don't mind unexpected guests, but you must recognize when a man lives alone in the middle of the desert, he has a right to ask, to, to ask uncomfortable questions. The boy wouldn't make eye contact, instead glancing nervously throughout the window, as if expecting to spot an armada of battle drones coursing straight for him across the night sky. I, I'm running away, he muttered after a moment of hesitation, from Green Phantom. He's been following me since Yellow Creek. The old man didn't move a muscle save for a twitch at the corner of his mouth, revealing he knew more than he cared to admit. You have nothing to fear, he said softly. The green phantom only comes for the worst criminals. If you hold regret in your heart, he'll forgive you. He'll offer a second chance. The boy's anxious demeanor suddenly turned into a rebellious grin. I regret nothing. And you, old man, you don't have the faintest clue what you're prattling on about. You're wrong. I've also met the Phantom once before. The tenderfoot nomad's eyes widened in surprise for a brief moment. It seemed as if there was a question at the tip of his lips, but he refused to ask it. It's late, the old-timer said. You should sleep. You're exhausted and need to gather your strength before you continue running, if that's what you choose to do. My home is open to you tonight. The boy uttered no thanks. 
Without a word, he stood up and entered the small, dark bedroom where his host had prepared a bed. To find his way, he switched on his infrared, then immediately froze in place. There was a body lying in the bed. He edged closer until he could discern its shapes. A pool of cooling blood, withered hands contorted into unnatural angles, the vacant, dead eyes of the old man he had only just been talking to in the other room. Suddenly the walls began to emanate an otherworldly olive glow. The boy could sense a figure enter the bedroom and stand behind him. If you regret nothing, hissed a cold, emotionless voice, then why do you flee? Then black, the world of the young nomad plunged into darkness. Wow, the green death. All right. Now. Mutant I'm by moonlight. Data now. Please wait. It was a night like every other. An oppressive black smog choked the city, pouring into the wicked lungs and hearts that breathed there. Acid rain drummed against thousands of window panes, the cityscape like surreal tessellation of piano keys. Thirty years came and went, nothing changed. I stood at the window, smoking cigarette after cigarette, my thoughts distracted by the memory of a woman I hadn't seen since the war's end. And then I heard a knock at the door, just like her, just like thirty years ago. Come in, the hoarse words strained from my throat. Oh, he said that, as I mechanically lifted my hand to the wall panel. The metal door slid open noiselessly, revealing a slender figure draped snugly by an inky black neo-mill dress. She stepped inside, her gold-plated hips glinting as they swayed. Her lips were a deep ebony, but her eyes, her predatorial yellow eyes, her predatorial yellow eyes pierced mine and scanned me from head to toe. For a moment, it felt like they were prying my very soul from my body. Then, I twisted my lips into an ugly smirk. I remembered my soul was already long gone. I left it in the war, along with the flowers I placed on my mother-in-law's grave. Someone's out to zero me, she broke the silence with attention-demanding bluntness. The smooth allure of her voice drew clouded in my mind, er, uh, her... The smooth allure her voice drew clouded my mind. I never noticed her third hand, a mistake that would spell my doom. What? Impossible, I started with the beginnings of a roguish grin. Who'd ever want to kill a woman with hips and lips like yours? And a corpo, no less. She narrowed her impenetrable yellow eyes for a moment. In a whirl and blur, she pointed a machine gun at me with rock-steady aim. You don't understand, she said quietly, her barrel fixed at a point between my eyes. It's you. Don't you remember anything, dear brother? Memories flashed. My nightmare of the war. Use a bio's blood. Frayed wires. The tattered remains of a plush tapir received from Margaret just two days before she died. And her father's last words. Words about my twin sister. A mutant abandoned at birth. The promise that I'd find her. Well, too late. She found me. Oh, the drama. Rizzy Brizzy with a tip. Thank you. Julian Z with a tip. Thank you very much. And then Brian Sanchez says, if you're wondering why Johnny is chilling with you, just do the next main story mission. Also, after you get all of the fun taxis, don't return until 10 intelligence. Okay, thank you. Then Chrome Knight Love. I think we might have already read this one. Yeah, this is about Crow Man. Uh, the serial dramas just crack me up. Uh, all right, so that's Thank password protected. Data now. Please wait. And I doubt we'll find the password just lying around. Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. We could hack into it if my intelligence were higher, but it's not. Find the Delamain Cab in Wellsprings. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, lots of lots of jobs. Three. All right, how many of these? In entrepathy. Okay, so main jobs, side jobs. Oh, it's epistrophe. Danger high, danger high. Look at all of these. Holy cow. Whoa, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they're all tied to this overarching job, epistrophe. Oh, seven. So seven, four. Okay, seven different jobs. Right, so, okay, so they gave me a side quest with a bunch of smaller quests where I have to take back these cars, and it looks like I'm not high enough level to do it yet, so I'm going to ignore it for now. It's something we can tackle later. Now, chat tells me that there's a special weapon nearby by the question mark or the exclamation point. By the assault in progress, danger very high. Who knows what you'll find? So this is where the... No, but he said just south of me. That's north of me. That's the wanted. Danger very high. Okay, well, that's also v very high, but let's go see what it is, if it is that weapon that the chat is talking to me about. And uh, otherwise, we'll continue with the primary plot after this. Vista del Rey's own Romeo and Juliet. You know that story. This one's not so different. Martha is in a coma in the hospital. Her father wants Gustavo to pay. And to V, the man quit payment. Details attached. All right, so that was a new side quest for Padre. Gun for hire, I see. Target Gustavio Orta. The world is built on certain rules, rules that don't appear out of, out of nothing, which grew from the blood and mistakes of our predecessors. And these rules are meant to protect us, but the young disregard them. They believe they are special, that they are not held to the same rules, that fate is theirs to tempt. Martha Brakes believed the same and now sleeps in a coma after taking a bullet to the head. The streets tell me this is her punishment for abandoning family. The girl turned from her own father, Nolan Frakes, to side with the enemy, Gustavo Orta. But what the street says doesn't matter, not to Nolan. He believes Gustavo is solely responsible for what happened to his daughter. Let's fulfill the wish of a father desperate for revenge. He's paying, after all. Go to Gustavo's apartment, deal with him. Don't worry about authorization, my netrunners. Make sure you don't run into any problems. And for your information, if you hadn't caught on yet, Gustavo is Valentino's. Nolan is 6th Street. Stay sharp. All right, so that's not the that's not the weapon. That's a side a side gig, a side quest. Both of which we have. So two side jobs. Um, well, then I don't see what uh, what the weapon is. But you know what? I'll probably come upon it in my own time as I explore the world on my own. So instead, let's go back to the journal and let's see. We went to Delamain. We got a huge, huge side quest. We've got all of these beats for the cops. We've got all of these gigs. We've got uh, a bunch of cars to get. Um, all of these, I, I think, are, are side distractions that we can probably do after the primary quest, which is only a moderate danger level to meet with Takamura. This will give us some answers. Why did Takamura dig us out of a dump? And why is Johnny still talking in our head? To find out, we track down our bicycle. Really? Really? I can't even get in. Oh. That wasn't me. Julian Z, <laughs> Julian Z says, Ox, did you miss my super, my, my latest uh, super, super chat? Maybe. Uh, uh, Julian, I saw your gold super chat, uh, but, the, but it says message deleted, so I can't read it. 
Um, I don't know if that was the mods because it was a spoiler or if you removed it yourself, but I do see it. It just says message deleted, but thank you very much. Uh, and then Brian t t tells me that to find out why Johnny is talking to me, I need to do the main quest, okay, which is what we're back on to. Anna Pitzer says, Hi, Oxen Chat. Excited to finally catch a stream. It's been a bit. Just finished my master's degree this week, and now I actually have some time in my schedule. Really enjoying watching Cyberpunk so far. Thank you, Anna. Congratulations on your master's degree, and uh, thanks for joining. We're going to go back to the primary quet, uh, quest. Meet this fellow who dug us out of the dump, but I need a new cigar. Hold on a sec. And just like with The Witcher 3, they give us more side quests than we can possibly know what to do with right now. But you know what? We'll get to them all in time. I really want to wrap my head around the plot, and I need to level up my character, and I think the best way to do so is to follow the main quest for now. Oh, there's a fast travel marker. But I don't have a fast travel... Oh, there is! Right? Oh, it's by the afterlife. Great. Uncle Matt says, nice humidor ox. Thank you, my friend. I finally decided to invest in a good one. Time for some answers at Tom's Diner. Sit. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This is about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn, what's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. I'm thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Julian Z says, Ox, I recommended checking your map before getting into a fight and seeing the difficulty of the area. I'm playing on the There's same no difficulty as waste, you. V. And I find that moderate is the way to go. The rating does change as you level up. Great tips, Julian. That's kind of where my mind was at as well. One of the reasons why I decided to go with the primary plot right now is because it was set to moderate. I'm going to avoid the high risk quests Be? until they come down to moderate as I level up. Uh, does the corporation ask her, he says? 
Don't think so, no. Can you expand? Don't matter how much perfume a corpo sprays on mornings. By lunch, that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I do stink of skullduggery. <laughs> nope. You're starting to stink. Period. Hmm. <sighs> that all really should be going wait Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide <laughs> looking for justice in Night City I seek revenge much more feasible here I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees the only thing I need is proof and you think they'll trust the word of a merc I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So he knows that uh, Yorinobu killed his father. Even though the news media has been There's saying no time to waste, B. that we did it. Um, which makes me wonder how he knows that. And he... He knew that, presumably that's why he dug us out of the landfill. So I'm trying to figure out how he figured that out. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain. Procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. X Mixaplex says, do not uh, skip the side quests. It affects ending dialogue. I, I won't, um, but I want to do them at the right the time. So let me uh, build up my character a bit, then I'll go into the side quests. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are uh, its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. Uh, then he says, well, he was being chased and was shot at with you. Yeah, I know, but that was after he dug us out of the landfill. What I'm trying to figure out is how he There's knew... There's no time to waste, B. ...that I was at the landfill, probably Dax, but, what, like, what happened between us getting shot and arriving at the landfill and him finding out that we saw the son kill the father. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist, thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Hello. News. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time.
to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Hmm. When I go to Evelyn Parker, she doesn't Pete? know anything about the chip. She just slept with the sun. The relic's engineer would know more than anyone else. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Uh, Nitaku Dragon Soul says, Hey Ox, thanks for keeping me entertained with some cyberpunk while I'm at work. You're welcome, my friend. Thanks for joining me while you're at work. Brian Sanchez says, There's Takamura no to waste, B. was betrayed by Arasaka for questioning his master's death. That is why he tracked down Dax. And that is why Arasaka superbots attacked you. Oh, I should have been paying attention. That makes sense now. Thank you, Brian. Mr. Master Pete? Chief says, fight against Japan Company. This is Second World War all over again. Uh, well, it's a little, it's a little different. It's a, it's a little, little different. Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found, things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Julian Z says, Ox, more tips. Check what type of stim pack you have in your slot in your inventory. There is likely you have one that heals better. I recommend scrapping the There's lower no tier stim to packs waste, to craft better ones. All right, thanks. I'll do that immediately after, Julian. Why are you looking for Helmut? He was the one to alert Sabro-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. Oh, Rogue. We know Rogue is involved with Johnny. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well-informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I wonder if Johnny is gonna say anything when he sees her again all these years later through our eyes. Uh, Parazaval says, Hey Ox, I just Be finished the game. And it's amazing. Story is absolutely awesome. What, what do you think slash like about Cyberpunk 2077? I'm enjoying the story a lot. Um, I enjoy the uh, dialogue elements. Um, the gameplay play is a little janky at times. I'm still wrapping my head around some things, but I'll get there with more practice. Um, Spork Sabre, uh, Sabre says, anyone told you about the yeah, AI? No time to waste, B. The AI gun you can get named Skippy? It's hilarious. The chat tried to tell me about it earlier, but I couldn't find it on the map. Maybe I'll grab Skippy a bit later. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Wait a minute. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent... Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Sabro-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging for several days. I was quickly. Mean to say you worked for Saburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the high and mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen. I wish you luck. Okay, so that's why, because I went through that dialogue option again. I guess we're going to Evelyn. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. 
If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Paka woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. All right. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Hey, Johnny. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dickwipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? Remind me again. Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. <laughs> Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. <laughs> Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. Oh, check out that armpit hair. That looks like it was put on with magic marker. <laughs> We're just gonna scribble some armpit hair on there. Yeah, that'll pass. So. Oh, that ready? goes all the way up the bicep. <laughs> it's it's the small thing. Sorry. Um, Mr. Master Chief says I have that Skippy gun and it's really hilarious. Well, I can't wait to get it, my friend. There is no us. Oh, wow, that's trippy. I love it. What a cool thing. I had no idea that this is the role that Keanu Reeves was going to play in in the game. And what an interesting role. All right, Call Judy, optional quest. If you want a truly dynamic machine, that's the only thing I've found in the last... Is that you? Shit. I thought you were gone. You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me, too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. You heard about the heist, I take it. Must have, uh, talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? what I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I want? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Meet with Judy. Miwi says, hugs for Oxhorn and the others. Thank you, Miwi. No Name says, that voice actor sounds like the Chinese submarine captain from Fallout 4. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I see that. I can hear that. 
Right, uh, well, we need to go to Lizzie's bar. That's way up there. What's that? Scan the mural to find a tarot card. Oh, I'm sorry, a tarot card. Scan the mural to find a tarot card, and there's one right behind me. What's a tarot card? I'm standing right next to it. Looks like it's on the other side of the street, though. My name is I won't buy anything. And I approve this message. Hey, look. What do you want? Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Eh, more likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Nah. Or maybe I ask them both. Fool on the hill. Odd graffiti resembles a, resembles a major arcana tarot card. The chariot. John says, hey, Ox, I've finally made a live stream. I'm really enjoying the game myself. Glad to see oh. you're enjoying the game, too. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much, John. Good to have you here. That Colin guy says, not sure why, but Johnny gives me Benny vibes. <laughs> you I can see that, too. All right, so we, we tagged a tarot card. Uh, and there's another one close by, isn't there? Those, they're all over the place. Holy cow. Tarot cards and tarot cards. Fool on the hill, talk to Misty. Those are right next to me. Okay, let's talk to Misty first to figure out what these tarot cards are. I'm uh, curious about this. I can't track it directly from here. Saw a weird image out on the street. Uh, seems like your line of work. What'd it look like? I grabbed a scan. Take a look. Tarot. Major Arcanum. What you saw was a sign from a higher power. The what now? Major Arcanum? Tarot card, archetype, knowledge held in symbolic form, a stage in your journey through life. Take your pick. <laughs> Either way. You're saying some higher power's talking to me through tarot cards. Or to Silverhand. Or both of you, seeing as you form a harmonious whole at the moment. You know, it'd be a little easier if this higher power learned to be direct. Well, the world is a maze of illusions. It's not easy for the light to shine into the prison of our earthly existence. Right. Great. So, what do I do with a sign I can't understand? from a power I know nothing about. I'd start by looking for more of them. The tarot describes a road, so go down it. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with what I find. Look for more images. They must have some connection to the place where you find them. Mm. Think about what you see. You ask me, they've been sent to help you find the truth. Finding the truth is pretty far down on my list at the moment. A difficult time is coming when you'll have to choose which road to take. Then, you'll understand. Ooh. I don't know. Okay, Mama Murphy. Come on back when you found more. I'll help you decipher what you've seen. Oh, 
Fool on the Hill, job updated. There's another one just over here. Might as well go see uh, the Ripper Dock while we're here. Oh. Coach Fred. Oh, what does he want now? Yo, V, Watson's open now. You're a free man. Just don't forget about the fights, all right? It'd be a shame not to put that talent of yours to good use. And I'll do the fights later, my friend. Oh, it's up here. On the roof. Let's go get this next tarot card, and then let's go to the Ripper Dock. See if we can upgrade our CPU. Oh, but we owe him money. Shoot. I don't think we have enough to pay him back yet. card collection the chariot the chariot is always charging ahead despite being pulled by its steeds in opposite directions the rider who steers it constantly reigns in the light and dark sides of the soul with the help of reason to ride the chariot is to experience highs and lows ups and downs The world lies at the end of the fool's long and winding journey. Wiser and more world-weary than he started out, the fool faces a moment of reckoning. Some of us accept where our journey has led us to, while others embark on a new challenge. One thing in this world is certain, you can't have it all. And Johnny didn't stop by to say hi? Okay, Miwi says the one who voiced Adam Smasher voices Benjamin Mason Richard Booth in Vampire. Ah, thank you, Miwi. Right, if I want more quick hacks, I need to upgrade my CPU. Let's see what we can do here, if I even have the money for it. Got a few questions about Silverhand and this chip. I'm no expert, but fire away. See what I can do. Tried to flatline me. Johnny did. What? What can I do to suppress him? You know, avoid my murder. Well... Long as you don't give him control, can't do too much harm. Of course, that won't necessarily be possible after some time. And what then? What do you say we don't let things get that far? Find a way to get rid of Silverhand, and fast. How's it even possible, seeing him? Well, that biochip is designed for users to communicate with constructs. It's just doing its job. So I got our socket to thank. You know, I wager you have the lowest net worth of any relic owner out there. Why am I reliving Johnny's memories? You two share a brain now. He has access to your senses, perceptions, even some memories. Likewise, you've got a glimpse into his. After a while, who won't even know whose is whose. Oh, I have the money! Yes, I have the, uh, let's try to pay off our debt. It's the honorable thing. There goes all my cash. Finally scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. Hold on to them just in case. You need them more than me. Oh! I'm not taking them all the way to my grave, Vic. Here. And thanks again for doing so much work on me without ever seeing in any. That's what friends are for. Job complete, paid in full. Listen, don't laugh, uh, but I've been seeing some weird shit around town. Like murals or something. But I know they're not real. Uh, just a Kiroshi blip. Could take a look. No, no. The images are too complex for a blip. 
It's like they're symbols. That case is the biochip. Brain can't handle the data overload. Either that, or it's reached the cortex. Uh-oh. <sighs> Can you do anything? Nope. Better find a way to get rid of that chip. Okay, job updated. Miwi says the one who voiced Carrie, who we saw when we first played as Johnny Silverhand after being shot by Dex, voices uh, Justin Io in Fallout 4. Oh. Okay, uh, can, can you ripper dock me? Ooh, that it? I pay off my debt and I can't use his services? There we go. I was thinking about swapping some chrome. You got any new toys? Have a look. Yes. All right, where's my CPU? Oh, I don't have the street cred. Or the eddies. To equip this item, you need 15 reflexes and 35,000. Oh. Uh... Shoot. Well, that's 15,000. That's 25,000. So it's pointless. I just, I'm not high enough level yet. Right, well, let's go to the bar. Meet with Judy. I want to talk to this rogue as well. Philip says, uh, sorry, I had a phone call. Was south from you when exited Dell's garage. Skippy Gun is just a dead body in an alley. No combat or anything like that. Just pick it up. Was south from when you exited Dell's garage. Well, I'll have to find it later. Maybe when I go back to Dell's garage, we can look for it. Right now, we need to get up here, and it looks like there's another... Oh, there's one right here, too. Part of another side quest, the afterlife. Okay, now, was there another mural near me? I think there was, yeah. Let's go get it. What's that? A fixer, oh. Let's go get the mural. You blind? Shut up. Magician. The Magician is the card of self-confidence and adapting to situations through intellect and sheer will. The Magician is a schemer who always has one last trick up his sleeve, who despite everything manages to stay aloof, I'm sorry, afloat, and remain in control of his own destiny. Three down. Miwi says, as Jessica Sharp said, Judy is voiced by Carla Tassara, who voiced Lily in Rage 2, but also Catherine Pinn and Knight Lucia in Fallout 4. Thank you for that, Miwi. Hey, haven't I seen you here before? Got a good memory for faces. Here for a good time. I'm uh, looking for Evelyn Parker. Know where I might find her? Used to come around. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. 
I'll let Judy know you're coming. Ma, All right. What a sweet little face you have. Back in Feast Lizzie's your home. eyes on this. Mm -hmm. Tell me, baby, do I look as fine as I feel right now? Come on now. Don't be such a wet rag. Come on. 4 a.m. last night, Gina and me sitting at the bar. And she's rattling on about the bank stuff, yada, yada, yada. All the while, I'm angling to get a word in because I need her to cover for me that afternoon when I go to pick my daughter up from preschool. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to sit back here. Let it lie. Judy's friend. Almost knocks over Maul at the door. He go ape sheet inside? Nah. Get this dead. same drunk person has been Jules here last time. Yeah. They were here last time real we came fish. by, too. Punch an animal. Yep. Back to no the bump and grind. All right, well, there were people standing in the way when we, we were here last, and so we didn't get to um, read this uh, data tape. Watson Horror Diary, Monday. What a stinking world. Finally, I get my ass on Ziggy's show, and right before I walk on stage, a stinking hospital somewhere gets shot up. This jerk cancels the show last minute for a special episode about the stinking victims. Who the crap cares? If anyone gonna, is anyone gonna remember them in a, in a week? Did they spend half their stinking career to get on that show? No, they just stinking died. I got my ass on stage anyway. Let them know you don't cock block a doggone TV messiah, but security screwed me up so bad that was scrolled, got corrupted, or some crap. Tuesday. Felt fed up today, made a move on town hall to protest the stinking disgraceful neglect of war vats. Got my hands on a dress made of sin fetuses. Ugh. Chanted my stinking throat raw half the way down there until the director of Wet Dream recognized me and said I was looking sexy, heart. So I leaned up against a schism, faked, choked on air, uh, jerk and slapped my ass because I could tell he loves pretty boys. He took my back to his place, chained me up to his king bed, and yada 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 till I snapped each and every bedpost. He showered me in eddies and already got plans to see him same next week. Maybe I can screw my way into his next brain dance? Wednesday. I got into an argument with Ruth Zhang. We talked about the normies who died saving some kids after a nuke popped during some corp war or other. Call her a tough-ass jerk on TV if you want, but she got all, like, blubbery baby on me, so whatever. I figured I'd say something nice. I said they were pretty Nova, and maybe they'd want to, be like, be my fans. Hell, looking at old photos, I was like, it's a legit stinking shame, because half of them got bulges halfway to Denver. Real waste of good... A schlong, so to speak. She just gave me a stupid smile and told me to screw off, the jerk. Thursday, ha 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 ha. Friday, dang it, I don't know which way is up. I'm stinking wiped. The boys brought over some laced crap or something, but it hit me like a stinking fire truck. I don't know what happened, but everything smells like piss. There's a horse mask in the bathroom. If I had to guess, it was probably me who wore it and got rode around. My knees do kind of kill, uh, kill thinking about it now. I don't know, I just hope it was that director from Tuesday and not that skank from Apartment 3. Oh, what a mad life we live. All right, Judy. What? Oh, right. Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. Timothy says 300 hertz HD monitor or 60 hertz 4K. Thoughts? Um, well, if you're going to do 4K, you want to go at 120, not 60. 60 is for HD. Um, it depends. I mean, I've got a 4K monitor. I play a, a number of games in 4K. But if your machine can't handle it, you're going to be going down to HD resolution anyway. You just don't give up, do you? Moxes and Nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community. Solidarity. Classic dilemma. What comes first? Family or the outside this world? This is a club. 
Nobody cares about your lofty world views. What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on it. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Okay. Mega Tower. Luxurious. Thank you. Is Wait. That it? Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. I got the impression that the two of them really cared about each other uh, when we visited them last. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Is that it? He's, he's just gonna... <laughs> and he'll stick around till I look away. Ah, that's, that's a really cool mechanic, I gotta say. It's trippy, I think I just woke up one day looking like this? This is real life, not no fairy tale. I'm a woman. That demands sacrifice. It's hard work, never easy. You don't say. See? I've always been a woman. Oh, so this is what fucking sororal solidarity looks like now. Locker room digs. Welcome to real life, sister. Your words, not mine. The boss. What are you staring at? You got something to say? Say it. Heated exchange there with Judy. What was that all about? How's this any of your business? Gonna follow up with your own sermon on responsibility for others? Go on, your high horse is waiting. I'm just curious. One thing I know about curiosity, won't get you shit unless you got the fists and the ass to back it up. Gonna back that up with my ass is what I'm gonna do. Just, we're gonna back that ass up and do it. Cause that's what we do with asses. You know what happened to Evelyn Parker? Why are you asking me? You talked to Judy about her already. Sure, but you're the boss. You might know something more. Evelyn jumped the mock ship a long time ago. And anyone not a mox is not my damn problem. I'm guessing the club brings in a lot of biz. Pisses at share of cost, too. Why, looking to invest? Nah, I'm just admiring your operation. We took over this place way back when. Every day I wake up and wonder how it's still standing. We get by, that's all I'll say. Where do you give the working girls a helping hand? That's ancient history. And like all history, it was pretty damn bloody. What was it? Something about a riot. Joy girl murdered by a tiger claw? Not the first, just the one that tipped the scales. Folk went ballistic. Streets overflowed with raised fists. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started. But that's old news. We're running a business now, not a charity. Can't help everyone in this city. Gotta take care of our own. Moxes come first. All right. You gonna let me read this? No. 
First aid kit. Hey, make sure we've got everything we need in the first aid kit, okay? Yesterday I had to explain to a client that no really means no. And when I wanted to dress up my hand, it turned out we were out of bandages. So yeah, I'd be super grateful. Mwah. Safe and sound, Night City Gangs. Hi there, it's your friendly neighborhood canine, Sergeant Dobbs. This useful little guide you're, ha you're holding contains essential information on the Night City's largest gangs, where you'll learn which districts to avoid, how to recognize gang members, how to avoid dangerous situations. Animals. The animals aren't real animals. They're freaks of nature. Pumped to the gills. With strength-enhancing hormones, they look more like piles of meat than people. They generally avoid cyberware, with the exception of cosmetic modifications that supposedly make them look more, well, like animals. They are extremely aggressive and don't need an excuse to start a brawl, but despite their name, the animals are not a territorial gang. You can find fierce, hostile packs of them throughout the city. The Sixth Street Gang. From a distance, they could be easily mistaken for soldiers on leave. Military uniforms, combat boots, buzz cuts, shouting oorah every chance they get. But don't let appearances fool you. These are violent, dangerous thugs ready to slit your throat without the slightest hesitation. You'll want to watch out for them, especially in Vista del Rey. The Mocks. Handsome girls, beautiful guys. But wait, it's a trap. They'll reel you in with their charm, and when you're least expecting it, bam, your eddies are gone. Or worse, the hole in the wall, the hole in the wall that passes for their headquarters is called Lizzie's Bar. Best seen from far away and never entered. Maelstrom. If you ever find yourself in Watson's industrial area, and it's better that you don't, watch out for the sinister faceplates. That's Maelstrom. To be a part of the gang, you have to get your eyes and nose cut off and replaced with demonic fiery red optics. Ouch! If they do that to themselves, who knows what they'll do to strangers? Better to leave that mystery unsolved. The Tiger Claws. Effervescent neon tattoos with Asian motifs, katanas and shurikens, racing bikes. These are some of the trademarks of the Tiger Claws gang, with a notable presence in Japantown. Ignore them, and they shouldn't bother you. But do something to provoke them, and it's sayonara, baby. Valentinos. Golden grills, golden implants, golden crosses, and golden machetes. Say, iola, or say, ho I thought that was an I. Say, hola, to the Valentinos. Despite the Catholic symbolism, they're not exactly love thy neighbor types. Those who get in their way usually end up chopped into pieces and tossed into the Del Coronado. The Voodoo Boys. These predominantly Haitian gangers are based in Pacifica, but they hunt their victims elsewhere. The Net. The Voodoo Boys are the most skilled net runners in, Night City, in the Night City underworld. But beware, that doesn't mean they're not dangerous in real space too. Be sure to give them a wide berth, or you might just end up like one of their black roosters without a head. Can I get this one without her trying to initiate dialogue? I want that hollow tape. What? I, I'm trying to sneak by slowly. Don't jump. See, this is what I mean about the dodge system. Oh my gosh. There we go. Mr. Truth says, can chat get a playthrough of yes, no, please? Mr. Truth. It's, uh, you guys are paying me to play this song on the radio. What the? <laughs> Maybe, maybe later if I get back to my apartment, but I'm in the middle of a mission right now. I'm not going to stop it to go to my, my apartment to play the yes, no, yes, no song. <laughs> All right, the undoing, fall of the first net, chapter one, the apocalypse. His name was Raish Bartmas. Everyone knows who destroyed the first net. The real question is why. Netwatch branded him a criminal and outlaw. The media called him a madman. Is either label correct? You be the judge. Below is a previously unpublished letter which Bart must put out just before the release of Rabbids. Why has this document only now just emerged? Well, someone out there did not want you, my dear readers, to ever lay eyes on it. All the more reason to take a deep dive into information available to us. Maria Jimenez. The first net was supposed to save us. 
It would serve as a platform for those without a voice. It would offer unlimited knowledge to those who hungered for it. It would bring a fractured humanity closer together than ever before in our history. But these hopes were hollow, false. The net spread its tendrils around the globe faster than anyone could have predicted, before anyone could even consider the full range of consequences. This information superhighway turned out to be our path straight to hell. We were robbed of our privacy, deprived of our free will, stripped of our dignity. It was supposed to save us, but now even the net itself cannot be saved. It was molded by the corpse with sharp edges, spikes, and traps at every corner. Think of the net as a stream of water that flows gently into our minds before freezing, swelling, and destroying us from the inside out. But remember this about ice. As hard as it may be, it's surprisingly brittle. One well-placed strike, and it shatters into a million tiny pieces. Watch out today, and you'll see just what I mean. Heard you give the working girls a helping hand. That Ma, Forget Evelyn. What a sweet little Admit face it. you have. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. All right. I chose the not bad option, but I guess I can't uh, have that conversation with her. Okay. Right. Job updated. Automatic love. Phone call. They call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. And what? You no, know, pleased to meet you. I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. If you call me, it's to talk biz. I don't do chit chat. Okay, this is sending us all the way down here, and I don't have a fast travel marker. I have less than an hour left before I need to head out. Let's see how far we get. Well, I might as well ride the motorcycle because I don't have a fast travel marker. All right, radio. You want to see the song. I don't remember which station it is. Is it Night FM? I don't know, it seems like if I change a radio station after starting a song, it goes silent. Oh wait, no, that song just starts silent. No Name says, the underestimate the strength of ice, just ask the Titanic. Sage Wisdom. Is this one also silent?
long time. Kaku Akata, the Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find the moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well. You and that friend of yours. Until then. Remember, V, it's unwise to engage in idle time. I am sometimes known to be rather impatient. Okay. Well, I, I managed to get a new job while I was on my way over here. All right, Mega Building H8. Let's see, are there any murals near me? No. Sell junk? Tiger Claws. So, you broke even? The only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. Oh, pleasure. From all booze. Right. I right. missed this time. Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw the two tiger claws. They must control the building. Our sock and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty, except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corps leave it to the gang, suits collars, and gets soiled. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over, cheeks spread wide. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half-brain dead dude drags me around a cat house in a wild horse chase. So having a grand old time. Brain Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. That's great. All right, let's see if we can find her. It looks like rain. So we can change her outfits. Neat. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? Looking for Evelyn Parker. Does she work here? Hmm. Give me a moment.
Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Okay. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I'm not a customer. Well, all the more reason to be excited. There's a first time for everyone at Clouds. It's no reason to dawdle. All you need to do is jack in. We'll create your personal profile and you'll be good to go. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. Mm. Good. How could you possibly know what I'm looking for? Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire, we find it. Okay. You'll have your needs fulfilled. And maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. So if our deepest desire is to meet with Evelyn Parker, we'll get Evelyn Parker, right? So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. But it won't really Memory be Evelyn. Memory on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. <laughs> that is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. Well, that leaves one option. I mean, we could do that, but we don't have high enough tech, so we'll jack in. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. So is this different? If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Is this different from a brain now dance? Now for your safe word. Afterlife. Afterlife. And saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. <laughs> that loading icon. Okay, which one is Evelyn Parker? Uh... Two matches. Interesting. Neither. Is that normal or... Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with unique tastes. <laughs> Our system can handle it. So who will it be, Angel or Sky? Uh, well, I don't know exactly how... Wait, which one is which? They're both kind of girl names. I guess... I guess Angel? I think an Angel looks good. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Angel awaits you in booth six. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> We have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Oh, great. We gotta deposit our weapons, fine. Only two willing you to spread their legs for You won't find any for weapons you. inside. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Enjoy your stay. Oh god, I'm so glad the nudity filter is turned off. This would have gotten me in trouble.
NC Nightlife, drinks, dancing, and debauchery. If you're a dance head like us, don't miss out on Lizzie's. You'll find no better brain dance club in the city, no matter how deep you dig. Modern boxes, solid tech, but most important, the catalog. Chock full of nearly any experience you can imagine. You'll find everything you need to get you off. Fast or slow, nasty or classy, and everything in between. Don't let the girls at the front... Oh, we read this already. Alright, so I need to go to booth six, but I, I also need to find... Evelyn. Whoa! Uh, that looked violent. What's this now? Ooh, can't call the elevator. Okay, that's a fire extinguisher. Well. Hello. Use technical ability? Police hollow view. Reconstructed with holograms. Let's take a look, shall we? Fresh blood. This is a crime scene? See that? See what? Nothing there. Exactly. There should be a port right there for the doll to jack into. They rip it out? Wonder why. Hidden camera. Blood. Oh. Fresh. Not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. So someone was beaten here. There she is! It's a foot guy, great. Whoa! What happened? Well, the client wasn't the one who flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. Did she get hacked? Oh, she hit her head on the wall. Whoa! What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. A netrunner? Weird. He's smoking a cigar. Good on you, Johnny. And we could watch it again. So she's missing. Someone hacked her and then presumably kidnapped her. Okay, that's booth nine. Toy store. Do we go into the toy store before going into booth nine? Yeah, let's go check out the toy store. Not bad, but it would be much better, Rio. I would 
eat those thighs. What do you mean, real? She's all ones and zeros. Do you mean I can ask her to do anything? Literally anything? Ask? It's not about asking, man. You just gotta be programmed. As establishments fuck sideways go, this one takes the whole damn pie. Tell hear me that? Me, At least I would hear no laments about pain. It hurts. It hurts. It's a hologram. What's so hard to get? <coughs> Let me have my fantasies. <coughs> Not like you know how to hack it, so why don't we just shut up and enjoy the show? Jeez, this guy's about to die. Cough up a lung, man. Whoa! Well, look at that. It's like, uh, it's like a Christmas tree ornament. But, uh, but for display in a pedestal. It's like a star. You can put that on the top of a Christmas tree instead of the star. Oh, and they've got, um, like hydraulics in here or something. I don't know, maybe a, a hydraulic-powered Christmas tree with a star on the top? That's what I'm thinking. Uh, no Name says this is definitely something. Oh, yeah. I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week. You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am. No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you. Here, now. You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This conk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. <coughs> and off oh. he goes. It's no shortage of wise asses. I'll see. You're going back upstairs? In a minute. Need to piss first. Uh, uh one C ooh, E nine five 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 one C B D. Ah. So that's where I was. Oh! What floor is this? There's a big blood stain. Is this where I was? It kind of, yeah, there's a big blood stain over there. Did I miss it? That's where I am now. Back to where I am now. Uh, Brian Sanchez says, Ox, go to the booth or you'll get locked out. Julian Z says, Ox, follow the quest. You'll get there eventually. Mr. Master Chief says, what? I'm getting a puzzle here. This cyberpunk game, all of them are not human, but are they synth? All right. Um, I'll follow the quest. Oh, yeah, I'm good. What's going on? Guess that makes you a real deviant. Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. What I said, this is unacceptable. <laughs> Vincent, right? I'm Angel. You're Angel. I chose wrong. I should have chose Sky. They did that on purpose. <laughs> it's V. Just V. 
Only people I know real well get to use my real name. But we'll get to know each other well in no time, honey. Sure, why not? Do what you do best. I know that you're dying. Whoa, is this like a therapy session? How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Well, why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. That's why you're here. Look around. Tell me what you see. There's something in the mirrors. Way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. Just what I needed. Therapy with a robo-hooker. <laughs> I'm not going to analyze you. I won't play any tricks. My sole aim is to fulfill your greatest need. Well, what is my greatest need? Listen, I'm looking for someone who worked here. Evelyn Parker. Know her? Know where she is? You must see the big picture. You focus too much on details, minor ones, hey, like yeah. Evelyn. Please don't act like you know me. I just want some answers. But are you asking the right questions? How can you change what has already happened? Got only one right question now, the one I asked. Where's Evelyn Parker? Why'd the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was she last here? You know anything? These are questions to which you'll find the answers on your own. What did you mean, happened? Know something I don't? What happened to you? What you keep inside and never reveal to anyone? And that is... Come now. You know. Snuffed it once. And I'm gonna have to do it all over again. Got no idea how to stop it. There. Happy? You wish to leave something behind. A piece of yourself. That's why this all began. You wish to be remembered. Oh, he's laying down now. He's getting closer to that pillow. Uh-oh. Yeah. Wanted to reach the top. Be someone. Still do. But seems like that might not happen anymore. Still, if I gotta die, I wanna go down in history. Fuck it, even a footnote to do. And after that? Do you think death is a disappearing act followed by exactly nothing? Uh, the McSkate says you didn't look at the photos of them. You mixed them up. I know, well, I was presented with like 16 faces and a couple of names and I had to, what, rem remember which one was the female and which one wasn't? They didn't put the face next to the name when they said Sky or Angel. I'm like, ah, Angel, I guess. Oh, oh, what do we do? Do we, <laughs> do we back out now with the safe word? But what if I lose out on information? Like, what if... What if there's pillow talk or something where I get more information about Evelyn and I miss out on that because I use the safe word? People I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just some stranger's voice in my own body. Yapping away. Mm, no longer part of the world. Cool. You will still have an impact there. So you believe death is not the end after all. Reassuring. Rather not think that one day it'll all disappear. That I'll be gone and everything else will be biz as usual. I wonder what I'll feel. What I'll think. If I'll even do either. Can you picture it? This is, this is deep. No, and that's, I guess, why I'm looking for some kind of explanation. They're out there. 
Rowdy Dowdy says, we won't judge, lol. Oh, please don't judge me for this. New Oxhorn exposed video. <laughs> so, what now? So, where do we go from here? This is the part where I tell you what you must do. <laughs> no. oh, okay, be my guest. You've never backed down from anything, so don't stop now. Oh, I'm not gonna not back one down. One step backwards. In this city, people die on their way to the corner store for a scop pop. But that threat's never stopped you. You dive into the middle of it all. Always have. Oh, I'm gonna dive into the middle of it all. There's no way I'm backing out. This <laughs> for the lore, says Justin. Oh, I'm I'm totally doing this for the lore. Okay, I'm I'm gonna touch. Uh, oh, let's let's just touch. Things are moving way too fast. Around me, without me. Oh, holding hands, hey, this is great. I can't keep up. A minor delusion. The truth is, we and our paths are braided. Never ending. Ever transforming. Not being, but becoming. And what's happening inside you, it could change the world. Listen, V. Never look back. If you must kill, kill. If you must burn all the world to the ground, then let it burn. Ooh. Okay? Thanks for this. I... I don't want to go out there. No one ever does. But eventually, we all must. Oh, and this is where it ends. I used the safe word. Okay. Well, this got very intimate and awkward, but... Not too intimate. Afterlife. What? What happened? Well, you interrupted the session? Did I do something wrong? Were you not satisfied? Had all kinds of things going on in my head lately. This was... different. <laughs> Refreshing. Yes, that is what we do at Clouds. Think I get why people come here, come back. But I came for something else. Mr. Master Chief says, Ox, you should use the safe word, my eyes. Well, I mean, I only had one option and that was the safe word. No Name says, you're already this invested, might as well bite the bullet. I bit that bullet as far as it would take me. You know, can't say that I backed out too early. Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Wait just a sec. That's not how this works. You can't ask me about the dollhouse or anything like that. I could get in serious trouble. Go, please, just go. Ooh. I need this info. Name your price. She's not here and I barely even knew her. That's all I can say. It'll be worth your while. Try to remember. We're not supposed to accept anything from clients. Everything goes through the shift bosses. I, I can't just... Nobody came looking for her. Nothing out of the ordinary happened. There was an... incident... with a client. Now he lights up. I don't know the specifics. One doesn't ask about these things around here. Tom might know. He and Evelyn were close. Go ask him. And please leave me alone. This incident with the client. What happened? Nobody saw. Nobody knew. Who attacked first. It was all a mystery. Then they just buried it. No more questions. Not another peep about it anywhere from anyone. Where did it happen? In her booth. Number? Eleven. Booth eleven occupied now. No, it's been out of order since... You're gonna help me. Need to get into that booth. I already went there. Why? What for? Not your biz. Can you open it or not? I can, but that's it. Won't answer any more questions. Tom knows something. Go bother him. 
Tom, who's he? Friend of Evelyn's. Wasn't a free moment they weren't together. Where'll I find him? He's a doll here. Works the VIP area, booth two. Thanks. Sheesh. Don't ask for me again. Ever. Right, booth two, VIP area. Hopefully, I didn't get him in trouble. I've got 15 minutes left. Let's see how far I can get in 15 minutes. Oh, I see. Of course I'm in I need to go up there, but what's uh, yeah. around here? Jocelyn says, tip for the awkwardness. Always do it for the lower ox. Thank you, my friend. All right, so I could go E9BD1C1C. What did I get by doing that? Hmm. What were you have? You really think they remember nothing? That's the whole point. They're not supposed to remember. Not a smidge. More like. So why, every time, do they restart the conversation where we left off? That's not remembering? It's saved to the dull chips that store their personas. And Mike says, dude in the washroom has a key card. Oh, all right. Well, I'm going to quick save real quick. Let's go check on that dude in the washroom again. VIP clouds. Access granted. Talk talk? I didn't kill him, by the way. Oh. Oh, that didn't give me the card I wanted. Okay. So, two ways to get access. I could have used my technical ability on that grate, which I did, or I could have choked him out, which also worked. Cool. Multiple ways to get through this. The foodie guide to Night City. The world traveler in Night City is faced with a dilemma. Enjoy the local cuisine or save the gut the trouble. If you don't own a trauma team policy, you're probably better off sticking to the tried and tested chains and exclusive restaurants. But if you do, Night City is full of risks that packs lots of rewards. Here's our risk re reward breakdown for Night City's good eats. For the cautious consumer, blue. 
a gourmet dining experience with some of the highest accolades and richest portfolios in the city. If you're after high quality locally sourced ingredients, Blue is the place for you. Among its marquee dishes are authentic caviar, oysters, and a pointed prosciutto. The alabaster white interior adorned with minimalist decor is perfect for a relaxing night out following a day of hustle and bustle. Pepper and Spice, a unique locale on the culinary map of Night City, this eatery was founded by renowned travel icon Tony Halik. It stands apart from the competition thanks to its diverse menu of transcontinental fusion dishes, most of which are offered at surprisingly reasonable prices. Caribbean, Polish, Kenyan, it's all there. Just not in the combination you've ever seen before. The crowd favorite, Halik's own vanilla dumplings. For the gutsy gourmand, buck a slice. According to urban legend, the NCPD has an entire file on the mysterious deaths of homeless people whose last meal was pizza from buck -a slice <laughs> True or not, bargain seekers living on a euro dollar a lunch budget should still be prepared for, for gastrointestinal distress. Worth the risk? Only if you want a greasy slice of authentic Night City flavor. Plus, their secret recipe, Chili Spurt Scaparoni, is unlike anything you've ever tasted, but only available on a special request. Rulai. At Rulai, you'll find all of the three Ps, potent, punchy, and pungent. Every visit to this local favorite is like playing a game of Chinese roulette. Regulars at Rulai claim you're just as likely to get a bearable egg rolls as halfway decent ragaroons as you are tainted tofu or Sichuan salmonella. You have been warned. Hey, I can level up, which gives me an idea. Oh, but I have no attribu attribute points to spend. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Got this piece of hardware. Yeah. This place always is dead. Thought I heard a tumbleweed go by. Dead for you. Lively for others. For me, just right. What can I get you? Got a house special? I'll take it. What do you mean, exactly? Top shelf. Looking to put the edge on, not take it off. It depends what you like. Go with your gut. Surprise me. I guess I shouldn't have been surprised. It did say no entry. Well, let's load my quick save. It's funny that he didn't bother. He didn't mind when I walked through the door. It was coming back out. That was the problem. Vincent says, hey, Ox, apparently it's an actual crime to put pineapple on your pizza in Night City. I heard the same thing. Oh, I see. Of course I'm in emo capacity. <laughs> yeah. I have that bike. I know where to. You better keep this short and sweet. Uh, hold Two on. brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. Hold on a second. All right, I need to wrap things up here. Hey. There was a holotape that I looted without reading it. Watson Whore Diary. This is the same one that we found back at uh, the other place. So funny that it would be here. You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. Hi. Um, 
think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Mr. Master Chief says, you know what sure I did when VIP I entered the VIP clouds? Out. I killed Got everyone. Once, payment bounced, and I was ripped out of the sesh the same way. Docked it from my pay, they did. Relax. You don't need any data, don't need any deets. I'm not a customer. I'm here to talk. To you specifically. Not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. Oh, it's important. Of in, in what you and me both. Try calling her a bunch yeah, of times. I have that no button. luck. I know it. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Which was it? Osaka or Oslo? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. That accident involved a client, did it? Found blood in her booth. Ah, uh, You know, shit like that happens here sometimes. And everyone's cool with that. We get new implants, recovery leave, and, well, sometimes even a payout. Now that I think about it, it is weird she went away so far. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where can I find this Woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off limits to customers. Ah, okay. Got some new hardware. <laughs> Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Okay, so back to the uh, out of order area or the no bounds area. <coughs> Is that Johnny in the reflection over there? Yeah. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. I'm glad Johnny is a big part of the, the story instead of just a side character. I mean, he is a side character, but he's a big character as well. All right, look, I have a hard stop. I need to leave now. Um, but I, I feel you as well because I, I'm kind of at a point where I want to keep going and I hate stopping right here. I'm tempted to do another stream tonight. I can't promise that, but I'm, I might. Just, uh, l just letting you know that I might do another stream tonight just to play a little bit more, to get more done in Cyberpunk uh, so, that we don't, um, so that we can get more done throughout the week. Um, so just follow me on Twitter. If I do decide to stream again later tonight, I'll let everyone know on Twitter a few minutes before I go live. So if you don't want to miss that, then subscribe to me on YouTube so you get notified. Or, or follow me on Twitter so that you get notified. Um, either way, uh, we will definitely be continuing uh, tomorrow morning, bright and early, 10 a.m. Pacific time, unless uh, something else happens, in which case I'll let you know on Twitter if my schedule changes. Thanks again, everybody, for coming to this broadcast of uh, Cyberpunk 2077. The plot thickens. It's getting really interesting, and I can't wait to bring you all along for more. The chat seems to think that a stream tonight would be a good thing. Okay, well, maybe I'll have to don my bathrobe and a cigar for later tonight. We'll see. Thanks again, everybody. I hope to see you again very soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And either way, I'll see you tomorrow morning, bright and early, for another live stream of Cyberpunk 2077. Bye-bye now.